what he was saying, repent, turn from your way and turn to God's way. He said, how are we going to do that? He said, because I'm going to teach you. I'm going to show you how. He said, he wasn't just telling you to do something like that. He just told you to do something. He showed you. He knew you didn't know how to do it. But he was willing to stay there and teach you how to do it the right way. It takes disciples to do that. In order for a person to repent, they say, well, show me a better way. If you got a better way to play this guitar, I'll do it. Somebody got to show me. You see, the world would really receive the gospel if somebody did what Jesus said. He said, go to me. You learn. Learn like, like I went to the school. Do you know the teachers go over there and teach them? Those kids learn because somebody went to them and taught them. They could sit there with those books all day long unless somebody go and teach them. They, they want to learn. I see them playing with my horns. They learn how to play good as they could, but somebody went over there and taught them the same thing in the world. These people want to, they want to do better. And most of them would, would do better if someone did like Jesus said. Go to them and teach them. You know, you, you're either caught up in the toilet, you can't get out, and you're you trying to get out, your feet slip. You can't get out unless somebody come and help them. You know, they're just going to be stuck till they get flushed. And then a lot of people ashamed or embarrassed to go. But all of them, them people came to my house. They knocked on my door. That blessed my life. I went to the church. I sat up in that church. I sat there and I sat there and I sat there. And then when it was time to go, I left. I came in with a problem. I walked down with that same problem. Now, if I was a living man, I'd to try to talk to the people. They didn't want to hear what I'm talking about. But when those people came and knocked on my door and began to share the goodness of God, even though I was so long studying with them, we hit the part. Because I believe in certain things, I believe the power of God is still today. I believe in the power of the, of the Holy Spirit is still here today. I don't believe it stopped at some point. And I don't believe that we are just a meat that's supposed to be here on earth. That's just the first beatitude. Once you continue to read that Bible, it says, Blessed are they that there's a whole bunch of blessings in there. So I want all of them. I want just one of them. I want all of them. If all of them is mine, I want all of them. But the thing I want most of all. What good is a basketball and a football man on that play? I want you to have it. I want you to have it. I want you to I want you to have it. He said, in praying, he said, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. That is so important. That's the main thing Jesus wanted us to do was teach the kingdom. But we can't teach what we don't know. We got to learn about the king. The kingdom is real. There is an order. Derek read Matthew 6:33. It said, "Seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness, and then these things will be added." That's what we do. That's what the world do. People are trying to get things and get things to hurt us, the Lord, and make ourselves happy. Well, the things do kind of add some comfort to your life, but that thing by itself not going because it's not yours. He said. Seek first the kingdom. That means, see, I broke it down into three words. Be, do, and have. Seek first the kingdom means be. Get your job. Be employed. Find your position in the kingdom. What is your purpose? Once you can be what you came to earth to be. Be, do, and his righteousness. That means do, do what he said do. Then, and these things shall be added unto you. That's have. Be, do, have. To be, be employed, do the work, you will have the, the, the reward of doing what's right. But then I can stop there. Be, do, have. In this world, this world is made based on fear and greed. Do anybody pay your car? No. If you pay your car, no, we you say, I don't know. Raise your hand. Well, I'm telling you that you shouldn't. Jesus said, Oh, no man, nothing but the continuing debt to love one another. See, in this world, in the world of fear and greed, we pay. But if you don't pay your car note, they're going to take it back. If you don't pay your house, they're going to take it. But I'm telling you. When Jesus was forced with that same issue, he said, Pick up, go over there and catch a fish and get out enough gold and give to Caesar that which belongs to Caesar. See, in the kingdom of God, they didn't go paying you 
here. It's giving and love. If they gave you that car, then you give them the money. If they gave you that house, you give them the money. You know how I learned that lesson? Because I had to go and pay child support. <laughs> the people say, if you don't pay that child support, we're going to lock you up. I thought about this and I said, no. These are my children, I'm good. And you know, I've been on to take care of them all my life. Now I'm going to go up and take care of them to pay for them. And then the fear of it all, if you don't do this, we're going to do that. If we don't do this, I said, I know I'm doing Word says, love casts out all fear. And it says, fear has torment. And it did what? Right. If you stay scared, you know, every angry person is really scared. Because fear got so much torment, it gets you back up in the corner, it gets you so scared, you come out fighting. See, our natural bodies, minds, we can't stand fear. We are all going to attempt to protect ourselves. Your mind will convert fear into anger. It's a natural self-protection mode. But anger is evil. That's what got me in this world. It, 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 it don't work. <laughs> One day, Lord, I'll be ready to write that check. And I wrote that check. And I just thought about the truth. One thing about the truth is just bam. It's just the thing like it's just the truth. I got ready to write that check. And I got ready to do a full line. And I just wrote, love. And then it dawned on me. I'm just going to give them this money because I love them. <laughs> then I was going to write for $75, I wrote about $125. Okay. You know why? You can give a whole lot more for a whole lot longer than you would ever pay out of fear. Mm -hmm. 